I knew at one point a long time ago that these two were going to end up together. I just didn't tell anybody but Danielle. I've had a crush on you since the first grade. I always thought you were beautiful and wanted to be around you. Whether it was accidentally getting in line next to you, pretending to find the only open seat in art, playing tag at recess, or being a Greek god. In the sixth grade, we were able to dress up as our favorite Greek gods. Me as the king of Zeus, god of thunder, the big man himself, pause for laughter. <laughs> and you as Hera, his wife, goddess of marriage. Funny how life comes full circle, and we find ourselves doing the same thing right now, except we're not in Tobis. From the days of playing tag on the playground in first grade to playing Zeus and Hera in sixth grade, to learning we had crushes on each other since first grade, to many life lessons, making mistakes, here we are 33 years later, exactly where we were meant to be at the exact right time to be who we needed for each other. Looking back on all of our accomplishments, we're proud of all we've accomplished from family, home, careers, hobbies, a beautiful wedding with friends and family, retirement, and it hits us that the world is still our oyster. It simply means that everything is open to one, and if lucky, they could encounter something special. Although we're not as young as we wish we were, you, Ryan, are my something special. People have come to me and told me how I'm smiling more now, how I'm happier now. The woman has looked into my eyes and said, I'm finally acting like her grandson again, and it's because of you. I've wanted to be around you since the first grade because you make me happy and I never wanted to leave that. So, I promise. I've always believed we all have a personal responsibility to find that one person to spend our entire lives with who will most closely love us, respect us, and take care of us the way our parents always have. It makes me so happy to be here today for my own parents to witness the person I chose to fill their shoes one day. Today I'm making a promise to you and your parents that I will always have your back and show up each day in the way you need me to be for the rest of our lives. To make you laugh and smile. To just have fun. Even through the bad jokes, right kid? Laugh at all of your jokes, even the dad jokes. <laughs> Listen to you wholeheartedly with an open mind and heart. I promise to listen to you and talk less. I promise to not take you for granted. And I promise to say toot instead of fart. I promise to challenge you in life, not in our relationship. Love you with all of my heart and everything I have the rest of my life. I promise to follow you wherever you go. And will you let me think I'm in charge? I'm holding your hand wherever I take us. I love you. I always have, always will.
to see Danielle so happy and in love. And you guys just look really good together. You just are always smiling, both of you. And happy to see my best friend so happy. And I know you both have been through a lot. And I'm happy that you'll have each other now the rest of your lives to love each other and support each other through life's crazy journey. I like to use movie quotes. It got to a point where I said, you know, it, there's a movie line, Batman the Dark Knight, the night is always darkest before the dawn. And then like a month later, he calls me up, he goes, man, how dark does it have to get? And I did not have an answer for him. And so, with that being said, there's your dawn, right there, okay? I didn't have an answer for the darkness, but I've got the dawn answer right there. It's pretty plain, man. La, la, let me be. La, la, let, la, la, let me be.